Recording live in the Hickory Hut studio on the campus of Defiance College, this is The Session with Derek and Ryan. Today is Tuesday, October 11th. It's homecoming week here at Defiance Woo! College. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm Derek Lucas. Joining me, as always, Ryan and Brock, Marissa Guyton, Billy LeClaire. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Very I was getting in trouble for yeah, not no. saying anything, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Do we have anything to talk about before we just jump in the news? I was just jumping. We always talk about stuff, but today let's just go straight to news. I don't have anything. It's homecoming week. Here's some uh, homecoming activities for the week. Woo! Tonight, 9 o'clock in the Schomburg Auditorium, it's Eric Diddleman, the mind reader. Diddleman. This should be interesting. Uh, it should. Why are you looking at me? I have no mind. Because Wait, last time you wanted right. to try to read minds, I didn't know if you were going to try to read Billy's mind today. Well, I can. It just wastes time, mm. really. You, aren't you talk. I'm going to read his mind. Okay. Mm. Anyways, Diddleman was on mm. season seven of NBC's <laughs> America's Got Talent. He's also been on Entertainment <laughs> Weekly and the most important, the Ellen DeGeneres show. Mm. So if he's been on Ellen, I guarantee it's going to be a great show tonight at nine o'clock. So come on out, check him out in Schomburg Auditorium at nine p.m. Did you figure anything out about I, Billy? All I could get from Billy was static. I, I, nothing was coming in. <laughs> That's not a surprise. No. <laughs> not no, a surprise. It, it that face you were making, hair. though. <laughs> I was making a face? Yeah, you look like you're in pain. Well, I was, well you try to read his mind. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> all right, speaking of Homecoming Week, Ryan, you have an uh, interesting Homecoming stat to share. Is that right? I do. I can't believe you just called me out like that. I'm a mind reader. You are a mind reader. <laughs> I don't think I even said this off the air. Uh, hey, just a little bit of a nugget of news. 30% of the faculty and staff here at Defiance College are actual D.C. alums. So that just kind of goes to show you how well, you know, uh, Defiance College means to people that 30% of our workforce comes back to work. Very cool. I thought so. I think that's pretty cool. I do, too. I think so, too. Thank you, Bill. But You're wait, welcome. you aren't a D.C. alum, right? I am not a D.C. Yeah, alum. Get out of here. Marissa, okay. what do <laughs> we got next? All right. The Campus Wellness Committee, along with... Our chapter of It's On Us will be hosting a discussion, an open forum on sexual assault titled The Gray Area. This discussion will be led by students, and it is tonight at 8 in the Hive. All right, Ryan? Well, well, yeah, I'm okay. You're okay? I was okay. just... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. You're Very welcome. good news. Billy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All righty. Uh, this <laughs> week, close the stuffing on Wednesday, the 12th at noon. Uh, and Stuffing what? What did he say? Backpack, buddy. Oh, there we there go. We go. Yeah. Get the content keep... first. Got to get the catch. Uh, I am so sorry, everyone. Those in the know call it BYB. Yeah. Wait, backpack. BPB. <laughs> BYB. Close. What do you think? Bring your backpack. <laughs> interesting interesting approach there, Ryan. Uh, my Anyways, mind's Billy, Billy, Billy Anyways, what was that again? Uh, backpack buddies is going to be stuffing at Kohl's Wednesday at noon. Uh, they're still looking for <laughs> volunteers. Five to seven more would be awesome. If you would like to volunteer, uh, please email Haley Paulson. Uh, and that's and about, well, let's Paulson. double check. Let's just clarify one more the, thing. They aren't packing at Coles. Coles no, is packing Coles here. Is packing here. There we go. But I they am. still need five to seven people. They still need five to seven people. Great job, it, Billy. You know what? I think Derek read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> or I just pulled up the same email and read it too. <laughs> Diddleman. <laughs> Hey, uh, after this break, Miss Mercedes joins the show to talk a little bit about Homecoming Week and the Office of Intercultural Relations, so stick around and check it out. Pumpkin pie or apple pie? Pumpkin pie. Apple pie. Pumpkin or apple pie? 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 Apple pie. Pumpkin. Pumpkin or apple pie? Pumpkin. Pumpkin or apple pie? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin or apple pie? Pu pumpkin or apple pie? What, what do you like? I like pumpkin. I like pumpkin. Apple. Welcome back to the session with Derek and Ryan. Joining us in the studio today is Miss Mercedes. Hey! Thanks for coming on the show. Coming up Thursday night at 8 o'clock in Schomburg Auditorium is the Step Dance. Step Show. Step Show. <laughs> I messed it up already. It's okay. All right, so Mercedes, just tell us a little bit about what students can expect when they come out to the Step Show. Okay. The Step Show is um, put on by historically black fraternities and sororities. Um, if students are familiar with the movie um, Stump the Yard, it's um, akin to that. Traditionally, historically black fraternities and sororities um, do a Step Show when it's um, – Basically, rhythmic dance with hands and stomping of the feet. Mm -hmm. um, different fraternities use different props. So we'll have um, the men of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated here, and they gen generally um, step with canes. 
And so hmm. it'll be a mix of cane work and feet and hand clapping and stomping. Um, we also have the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, which is my sorority. Mm, um, cool. We'll also be here. And I believe the women of uh, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated as well. Well, I got to be honest. When I hear it, I uh, I don't know what to expect. I, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I I am not familiar with that kind mm-hmm. of dancing. I don't even know. And when you say canes, I'm thinking 1940s musicals, you know. <laughs> 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 and that's probably not it, right? Well, no, but it was a little bit of it. I mean, it's, you know, real step shows, you okay. know, at other colleges. They're like almost 20 minutes, 30 minutes long. You're talking about costuming. You're talking wow. about music, lighting. So it, it's kind of a production oh, cool. for some schools. And we're just going to get a small taste of that because we have students here who know about Black Greek culture. Okay. Um, but we don't get a chance to see it here on our campus. And through some connections that I have at Bowling Green State University, students will get the chance to experience that. So, so did you do a step show before? Have you yes, done those? Yes, I have. Can we expect to see you participate <laughs> on Thursday? Um, I, you know what? It depends on what, the, <laughs> what, what my sorority sisters are doing. If it's something I can jump in, like the national step, of course I'll do it, you know. Um, <laughs> I might hurt the next day. I'm going to be sore (laughs) and my ankle's going to be swollen, but I'll try to get in there and do a little something. So tell us a little bit about the Office of Intercultural Relations. Okay. Well, Office of Intercultural Relations, or as you might see it on several emails that I send out, um, OIR, Mm because it's just simple that way, um, is an office on our campus that promotes uh, multiculturalism. Um, And I think for some people, the myth is my office is the office for black students, right? Okay. But that's not the truth. I have students from all walks of life come to my office. And, you know, I, I have a space where students can come in and ask questions mm-hmm. that they really want the answers to, but sometimes are afraid to ask because of the stigma behind it. You know, there are people who really want to know certain things and want to have answers for certain things, but they feel like if they ask it, then they'll be labeled like as a racist or as a sexist sure. or something like that. But they generally, you know, they really, really want to know information. So my office serves as a resource. Students can come in and ask the question and don't have to feel like they're sitting in judgment and in, involved in it because this is, you know, we are an academic campus. This is mm-hmm. people come here to learn. Absolutely. And I can say as a fellow staff member, you know, I have an, an area that I consider to be a safe zone. Mm-hmm. You they can come in here. Students can come in here to the studio. We can talk about any variety of topics, and they know it's not going to leave here, and they know they, that they right. won't be judged. And it's nice to have for students to have these kind of, of safe zones. Right. And, you know, I think a part of the educational process isn't always about the classroom. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes we learn the most through our interactions in the cafeteria, in the residence halls, walking on campus, you know, even at athletic events. You sure. know, you have these interactions that sometimes don't go the way you wanted them to go. And how you process that and how you function in that speaks about you, how you are as a person. You know, people who most people on our campus aren't going out with the intent Sure. To hurt people. Absolutely. I would agree with that. Or to be disrespectful or rude. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the impact isn't always the same, you know. And so how do we understand sometimes what our intention is doesn't even doesn't come out the way we want it to. The impact it has isn't how we want it to have. And so how do we rebound from that and how do we learn from that and how do we move forward from that? That's those are the conversations that we need to start having. Yeah. And there, you know, there is a big maturity issue between. You know, a college student and and our age mm-hmm. of, of people. You, you, once you know, you can reach to that that maturity and find yourself, you know, maybe growing out of certain things or growing into certain right. things. Um, that you know, it's just wonderful to have a place on campus where where students can go and talk freely. Right, and, it, and it's even about you know, sometimes you just need a vent session. Sure. Oh, right? <laughs> we so, we have them in this studio. So, you know, <laughs> students will come in my office and they'll just. Talk about something that's on their mind. And, and I'll ask, I'll say right up front. Now, do you want me to respond or do you want me to listen? <laughs> because if you want me to respond, understand that I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. Yeah, absolutely. And so students need to have that kind of interaction as well. Um, another big part of your office, even though you don't want to talk about it, is BASA. <laughs> Can you just briefly do your sales pitch for BASA okay. to those who may not know? It's not that I want to talk about it, but it's a student organization. <laughs> and, you know, I want them to have their own voice. And so I advise the um, BASA, which is Black Action Student Association. It's been around since the 1960s. Mm-hmm. Um, the, it was a real big political push in the beginning, but has um, kind of transitioned more into a programming board. BASA has been probably one of the top 
programming boards on our campus for okay. the last few years. They put on quite a number of events every year. Um, and students can be involved. And it's, again, one of those myths that Black Action Student Association means it's for the black students only. And that's not the truth. Well, she's got to get to her class. Hi, y'all. Um, so before but before you get out of here. Okay. This week is homecoming. Homecoming. Okay, so football game this week in Defiance versus Anderson. Can we get a score prediction? Oh. <laughs> Um, no pressure. Let's see. I'm going to make it up. Uh-oh. No, I'm going outrageous with this. Um, <laughs> all of my children are going to do very well. Um, we're going to get five interceptions. Wow. Um, it's getting detailed. Yeah. Three of them are going to go to Kenny Jones. Two of them are going to go to Markel Moncrief. Um, Demaria Washington is going to score a touchdown. I think let's she's see. just trying to drop names. Yeah, I, I, am. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I am. I am. No, uh, let's see. So, no, I'm going to say I'm going to go pretty high, 36-14. Okay. Wow. Okay, be- now be- we should do the silly six. We okay. do it with everyone yep. else. Do it oh, real quick. Of course. Okay. Definitely the silly six. Oh. I'm going to ask you questions with one-word answers. Jesus. Yep. So, <laughs> to speak, one-word answers. Ready? Are you ready? Yes. Your favorite pop or, or beverage? Um, ginger ale. Okay. Brand? Uh, Canada Dry. Okay. Your favorite fast food? Burger King. Oh, mm. yummy. I eat Burger <laughs> King a lot. Uh, your favorite show, like TV show? Golden Girls. <laughs> we have Love never heard them. that one before. Love yeah. them. Your favorite sports team? Alabama Crimson Tide, oh, Roll Tide, uh, all day, every day. I had to ask you because I knew you'd say that. Uh, 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 your favorite dessert? Ice cream. Flavor? Chocolate. And your favorite song that no one knows about? It's called Time by the Culture Club. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> old school. Yeah, old school. Well, thank my you, Miss Mercedes, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome back anytime. All right. Uh, this is the session with Derek and Ryan. We'll be right back. Peace. I'm Tom Winker with the Defiance College football team. And if I have to listen to a podcast, I'm listening to the session with Derek and Ryan. Hey, welcome back to the show with Derek and Ryan. Good job, Billy. Who Thank renamed you. us the show? <laughs> From the session to the show. Oh, and I told him, good job. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did I say? I said, enough. welcome back to the show with Derek and Ryan. <laughs> That's okay. It's the session oh, with Derek and Ryan. We're going to wrap up today's show. And real quick, Marissa, update on Tasty. Not Tasty. very good. Well, I couldn't find her original owner, so I found a random lady on Facebook who wanted to take her. She came to my apartment, picked her up, and it was really sad. I had to put her in this little crate thing, and it was kind of reminded me of like Air Bud when he's like, just go, just go. And I was like, almost. That's just tragic. Know. It is. It was kind of sad. She brought up Air Bud, which is even you sadder know what? than yeah. Tasty. I did cry in that. That just ruined my yeah. day. Sorry, but that oh, Air Bud is just the, a bad memory. So I caught the feels too soon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Air Bud is. You poor man. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Well, Do you know how many movies are out on Air Bud? Well, I know that. Ryan's about no a... longer allowed to talk today. Okay, <laughs> after that. <laughs> We're gonna mute hey, brain. listen, the last show, I'm the talking. whole Dos Epis gift card <laughs> thing, that was a fail. We're supposed <laughs> to have ten people retweet it. A fail it. and a half. I think we got four. So shout out Alex Midday. You were close that uh, Swish's favorite drink is not Batman. <laughs> you were very close, but good luck next time. We will try this again in the next couple weeks with another show, so be on the lookout for another opportunity to win the gift card to Dos Epis. Hey, it's homecoming week. Check out Diddleman tonight. Get out and Diddleman. try these activities. This should be a fun week. Ryan, well, let's get out of here. I got an itch. I'm sorry. Hang on. I wasn't quite ready. What do you want me to do? Get us out of here. Oh, okay. He's Derek. I'm Ryan. And I got to say just real quick that today is Tuesday, but it really feels like a Monday on this show. I'm just Grr. saying. Tuesdays. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, he's Derek. I'm, I'm Ryan. And the gang. You guys want to say anything? Go Jackets. Yes. You guys are prepared. <laughs> hey, tailgate Saturday. Be there, be square. All right. For all you circles, you're in trouble. This is the session with Derek and Ryan. See ya.